have you walk us through a little bit about this bad boy. Yeah, so let's take a look at uh, Talus here, and I want to start with his weapon. Um, it's it's basically our version of a submachine gun. That's the note we were trying to hit with this. Um, so it's got that fast firing. It's wow. short to medium range, and it, it feels snappy. Feels pretty damn accurate too. I mean, just it, watching the weapon trace it's there. It's pretty accurate. It, it'll sway a little over range, and you can actually see that. Um, so you know, you do have and to control it, it. Is that like a new type of recoil? Because I was playing with this a little bit, but it felt it felt different from like Victor or Tyra. That yeah, were... we wanted to give it just a little bit more flavors. So this weapon, while it is fairly accurate, does sort of move relatively consistently. It's got a bit of inaccuracy, but generally you can get a feel for it. And then over medium, even long ranges, you'll have fall off, sure, but you can get pretty consistent damage. Gotcha, gotcha. So that is the in hand. Let's take a look at his first ability, the Q. How does this interact yeah, with the rest so, of his uh, kit? Yeah, so, I mean, he's a flank, right? So Whoa. this is what gives him his damage, right? Well, his in hand <laughs> is a little bit longer range for a flank. Yeah. Here's where you can really light people up. And this is uh, this is a 33% attack speed boost. And this puts him at very high damage for a flank. Yeah. So competitive so, with Sky. Right. And so with this weapon, you know, he's got this kind of stone rune based relic. And so uh, on the reload, you can see he kind of recharges that rune. The yeah. VFX are broken in this build, it looks like. But uh, he and, and so when he hits that Q, you get a really clear tell, uh, which is those big stone pieces on either side kind of float off. And uh, you essentially have two barrels firing uh, at that point as far as like funneling that room right. magic, uh, you know, down and through the weapon. Oh, man. And a solid audio tell, too, right? Like, if you yep. just fire it off into the into the water and then do it with the Q, like it, the gun just sounds like it's behaving differently because it's just firing, right. you know, from both of those barrels there, so. That is a beautiful attack speed in there with some great VFX to follow. Yeah, it's it. a bit of a short duration, but right. I mean, that's it's more than long enough to get a kill. That's flanks, and, right? And uh, here's a bit, of a bit of a teaser. We've got a legendary. Uh-oh. Uh, infinite ammo during the stim. Yikes. So, four seconds. The meat grinder. Yeah, that's right. It's a raging demon. And uh, you just, you can fire the entire time. So, really good damage. I, I like doing it. Like, if I'm up against maybe more tanks, then this is a decent option wow. to allow me to just shred them. And this is so, could you do something like empty your clip, then overdrive? And just you will really need at least one ammo to start. Gotcha. If you're in your reload, it's not going to reload for you. Gotcha. Very cool. So that's how he's going to do his damage. But the flanks, they're not all about damage. They're about getting around the map, a little bit of mobility. So let's take a look at his F skill. What does this do for young Tal? Yeah, so this is a different kind of mobility entirely. You're going to leave that rune. You can hear a slight ticking, and you can see that little UI. You're on the clock. You are, because when that timer runs down, Poof. Yoink. You pop back. We saw that in his uh, reveal video. Okay. And he actually does have that ability in game. Now, you can activate it early. Um, so if, you, if you're in a bad situation, you know, you're down to just 200 health, you can teleport out at just the right moment. Um, or, or if you've accomplished what you set out that's to do. Right. Or if the actual force teleport back, uh, that will cleanse everything. You will always teleport back. Well, unless you're dead. What happens if I'm getting Zen ulted? Out. Yoink. What happens if I'm a chicken? Out. Oh my like goodness. Like everything. But that it's is on a timer. Only on the end of the timer. You can't activate it yourself to cleanse. Correct. Season. Yeah. If, if he's stunned, he can't teleport out. So it's a good way to kill him unless he's got he's playing his timer right. So, you know, maybe you would try and wait for the end of the timer sure. if, you're, if you're getting too near to a Makoa. To or get super like that. aggressive. Wow. So you can get pulled out of Makoa hooks as well? Yeah. You can pull. Oh, like man. if you're in the middle of being pulled to Cerus's ultimate, it'll pull you out. Everything. Wow. Okay. Nice, safe mobility options for that flank. Very cool, very interesting interaction with that. But that's not all. What is his, his alt fire all about? Yeah, so he, he's got some decent burst damage with his Q, but we wanted something okay. um, uh, punchier. <laughs> so, okay. Ah, so you, you gave go. him a punch. Right. Uh, now, this <laughs> is actually, it is an AoE. So he's going to oh. charge forward. If he hits someone, he'll stop and deal this area attack. You can ah. hit two people. And he'll also always deal that attack. So at, at the edge of the range, you can catch some people too. You don't have to hit them directly. Oh. Um, but it's solid damage. It is a knock straight back, similar to Shaolin. Gotcha. Uh, so it's pretty good for setting up your own abilities and stuff, right? Like yeah. if, if someone is real low on health, you can finish them up. Uh, you could knock someone off a ledge for sure. That's the big one. One more. So Ooh. what happens, like, can you punch through shields with this? Like what does Fernando's shields up? Does it go through that? Does it still knock him back? 
You know, I'm not entirely sure. I think it will go through his shield. Okay, so got to be careful no matter what it would seem as you're around the hazard zone. Yeah, you'll definitely dash through shields. So, like, if there's, like, a bar barricade, you'll go through that. Gotcha. Just not sure about the actual hit going through the shield. Well, it's time for the big kahuna. What yeah. Is it, what happens when this man presses E? Uh, so this is a whole, whole new, different This ultimate. is something. This is quite <laughs> yeah. something. Yeah, I, I, you definitely let's, messaged let's me. Let's go ahead. Yeah, let's go. Let's go far, far, far away. Because that's what Talos is about, right? But we want to kill that Cassie, right? Yeah, that. Yeah, ca that one. That Cassie. Let's has, get her. She's wronged you. Yeah. And your race. Oh yeah, drop your teleport. That's good. Whoa! Boom! Out of nowhere! And then just like that. All the way back. Oh my Lanta! Fully global. Wow. All right. So tell us about this ultimate. I mean, I don't even know the where to start. It's called True Power, first yeah. of all. That is... It's the True Power of the Squadron, man. Hell of an appropriate name, if I've ever heard it. That's right. So, so a brief we, wanted a way, we wanted a way for him to be able to counter those real priority targets, like snipers, healers, whoever, right? Yeah. But we didn't want to give him all kinds of crazy mobility in his basic kit, especially with the ability to teleport all the way back. I mean, that's so powerful, Jeez. right? Jeez. Yeah. So it's on his ultimate... And is, it, it, it's got great uh, synergy with his F, because you can go in, find right. her in a bad spot, and get out. Because here's the thing. If someone is CC immune, you can't target them. If someone's okay. in their spawn room, you can't target them. Just that would be bad. You'd be trapped in their spawn room. It would be terrible. Okay. So how does this interact with the player being targeted? What happens to them? Do they know that they've been marked for, so, for death, likely? Yeah, there is a targeting point in that ultimate. Okay. Uh, when that screen fills up, that's when it locks in your target. You can see it right there. So um, as that rune kind of turns red, that's when, when they'll that get the top. And when that happens, you can see that he'll actually lift them up and stun them right at the end and then do the travel. Now, you can get saved out of this, right? Like, if your teammate cleanses you, you're free. Or if you're playing Talus and your teleport goes off automatically, you're free. <laughs> oh, my, man's was, my cameraman's was trying to make himself he was trying a to play. Be, yeah. Yeah. And uh, didn't quite work. Well, no. Can't win them all. Yes. Well, you looked damn good trying. Damn. So there is a, a lot to that. That looks like a...